has postponed an indefinite press conference after it was due to be held on Friday to comment on the start of Turkey's receipt of the Russian S-400 missile system. AKAR responded to the U.S. threat to stop cooperating with Ankara on the U.S. F-35 aircraft project, saying that his country was a partner in the production of these aircraft and that it had done all its duties in this regard. AKAR stressed that Turkey's acquisition of the Russian S-400 system does not mean changing Ankara's strategic direction and described the deal as a necessity for Turkey and not an option because his country is subject to a large air and missile threat, as he put it. AKAR reiterated his country's proposal to form a committee of experts from NATO to study the impact of the Russian missile system on US F-35 aircraft. The statement said that AKAR agreed with his U.S. counterpart to send a U.S. military team to Ankara as soon as next week to discuss the establishment of a safe area in Syria. Ankara had decided in 2017 to buy the S-400 system after its efforts to buy the U.S. Patriot system and the United States threatened sanctions if Turkey continued to complete the Russian deal. But Ankara rejected the threats and considered it not suitable for two NATO member states. Last month, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said after meeting with his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump at the G20 summit in Osaka, Japan, that the United States does not intend to impose sanctions on Ankara to buy the S-400 system. Trump commented that Turkey had not received fair treatment from the previous U.S. administration, but did not rule out sanctions.